Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Service Now Universe. Hope you all are doing well. Today's topics are data discovery and data classification. The data discovery is the application which helps in discovering the PII that is personally identifiable information in the Service Now instance, which is stored in the table, and uh, we can classify them using the data classification application. And uh, we, we have the dashboard where we can see the results of the data discovery. Okay, and we can act on the PII. Okay, so uh, let me go to the plugins to see the plugin for this. Uh, data discovery application the plugin id by the way you can see uh, the plugins page now earlier we used to see the all applications page now but now we can see uh, application manager page here and you can see the ui is enhanced here ui is looking very good and uh, even the performance is also enhanced here okay so let let me search the uh, data discovery plugin okay its id is sn underscore data underscore discovery i have already installed that that's why i can see that in the uh, installed uh, list okay when i open this we can see uh, the dependencies here this is dependent on data classification as well okay so let me just close this and uh, let me just go here and type data discovery so when we uh, when we install that plugin right so we get this uh, module here under uh, system security we have data discovery classic under that we have many options here let me go to dashboards first so now we don't have any data here we have not uh, run the discovery that's why we don't see, we don't see any data here everything will be blank here so, okay uh, let's generate the data and come back to this dashboard again okay. now we'll see all the data patterns now these are the data patterns which are out of the box available in this application that is uh, the credit card american express okay what it means is uh, this credit card number starts with 34 or starts with 37 and the character limit is in this is 15 okay whenever in any of the field uh, we'll, we'll mention in which field we need to search so whenever in any of the field uh, if the number starts with 34 or 37 and its length is 15 then we'll identify that as credit card that is american express credit card okay and the regex for this is stored here okay regex expression uh, same same here for email uh, also we have this uh, if the word uh, contains dot or uh, add symbol so and it has the length of two to six okay then it is identified as email and its regex is here okay so these are the out of the box regexes uh, data patterns we call them and these are uh, provided by service now uh, in the data uh, data discovery application but we can create our own uh, data patterns here so let me go to the next module that is the active data patterns okay now we have these many data patterns here out of them which is the active data pattern which we want to use and which you want to search okay now uh, here is uh, there is already one there uh, that is american express credit card but i can add multiple here okay just click on edit and i can multiple let me add email here now whenever i start the discovery right, data discovery then uh, it will check only for these two it will not check for others okay because these are the active data patterns okay so let me close this and let me go to the next module and the target target tables here okay now here uh, we are telling uh, that which target table we need to search the data in for the pii okay so we'll come back here in some time and the next uh, is the discovery job so we need to create the job here and we need to schedule that okay and we need to provide the time we'll see that but we can see this message here to enable the discovery job creation you must first define the target table and the active data pattern okay we have defined already the active data pattern that is the american express uh, credit card first and the email is one uh, there are two one there are two right but the target table we have not mentioned that's why we are getting this uh, message here and we are not getting the new button here okay so let's just add a new uh, target table here okay so what we'll do is we'll add a target table that is sys user that is the users table okay let's add the users table yeah here it is okay and let's submit and okay let me go back again okay uh, the user table is here and we'll add one more table that is task table task let me just scroll down here it is okay so we have added two tables what we are saying is uh, search for pii in these two tables 
okay now which fields it need to search uh, so it that is defined in the data classification application we'll see that later okay now we'll go to discovery jobs here so if i refresh this now you see that message is gone and we got the new button here okay now let me just click on the new okay i'll say uh, test discovery job test data discovery job okay and here uh, we can see there is state here to identify uh, this is ready to schedule when i uh, save this we can schedule this okay but when you want to schedule that okay which part of the day you want to schedule that now this instance so as we are uh, mm, let me just show you the profile okay this instance time zone is uh, los angeles time so let's check what is the los angeles time now okay that is 631 okay so 6:31 a.m so let's let's schedule it for uh, schedule that for 6:33 okay so what i'll do is 6:33 okay and here what i'll do 6:35 when it should end okay because uh, we don't need to add the uh, uh, load on the system right so we need to define uh, on which time so we can define uh, most uh, probably uh, like uh, uh, at night 12 so whenever nobody is using the instance right so that time we want to do that okay so now i can schedule this okay the state is ready to schedule now when i click on schedule job okay now you see this is scheduled now if i go to schedules here okay okay yeah schedule system scheduler schedules and i can see okay i think uh, the time is already there Oh, it is 32 and we have to schedule it for 33 so let me okay let me just add contains okay oh no sorry it is the wrong table so the table is sys underscore trigger dot list so we can see data discovery is added here and you can see the next action is less than minute because we have scheduled it for the current time is 632 and we have scheduled it for 633 here okay so let me just add data discovery okay so here it is uh, it is just now uh, it should be scheduled now we can notice here okay that is that got scheduled and the state got changed to completed and we got the uh, summary here total patterns it searched Two, uh, which are the total two patterns that is one is the uh, american uh, express credit card and another one is email okay and how many rows it has scanned 4281 okay because uh, uh, it has scanned the user table and the uh, task table both okay that's why 4281 rows are there how many tables it has scanned two tables it has scanned but uh, did it find anything total matches found yeah total matches found are uh, 614 okay total matches found 614 and uh, total elapsed time okay so let's let's check uh, for email it has found uh, how many 613 records okay okay let's go to this user table so for email we added the user table right this underscore user dot list okay so if we go here if i remove filter out and in the email we can see there are 613 uh, emails here so this uh, this all is identified as what uh, the PII okay and next one is uh, in the short description uh, of the task okay so let me go here task dot list okay. let me search for three four starts with three four you can see uh, there is one record which is starting with three four and it has a uh, 15 uh, uh, characters here okay its length is 15 so that is a pii right so it is uh, added here okay that is uh, that has credit card american express okay now we search that in where uh, in the uh, short description now we have where we have defined that short it should search in uh, short description that is in the data classification so let me uh, go here to data classification okay data classes so here uh, it uh, there are uh, classification there are different classes here one is confidential internal uh, pii that is personally identifiable information and here i have created one uh, test here okay uh, so let me just open this pii okay. so here what it is saying personally identifiable information is okay out of uh, this sys user in the sys user table these are the these are all the fields uh, which might be pii 
okay and here you can see the email is also added okay now if i want to add a new one here for example okay in this if i want to add a new one now how can i add that i need to go to the dictionary table dictionary okay if i want to add that for the task table and uh, the column is description for example yeah i need to uh, go to that dictionary record i need to select that okay and i need to go to this actions and here is the option called classification okay we can clear the existing classification as well or we can classify this as well now we are saying the data in the description should be classified in what out of these okay uh, wait let me just go to data classification how many classes we have uh, we have six classes here so out of this six classes uh, this data, uh, data in the description should go to which class okay we can just search here and we'll say it should go to personally identifiable information okay i'll just say classify okay now here we'll go this is the data classification uh, personally identifiable information earlier we have 14 right let me just refresh this Okay. now you see we have 15 here we don't have new button here if you want to add the table and the field here then we need to go to that dictionary record and we need to uh, uh, search for uh, we need to search for that uh, column and we need to select that and classify that in the dictionary okay now i can remove the classification as well here uh, if i go here let me just go and select that and clear classification okay clear now if i go here and just uh, do this it is again 14 okay so let me just add it i will uh, run it one more time okay classify and we'll add it to pii and classify okay now uh, for data classification uh, there is an overview here that is nothing but a dashboard it shows uh, uh, the different classes and how many fields are added to those, those classes okay breakdown by classified data so we can see for pii we have 15 fields we just saw that okay for internal class we have two fields for uh, confidential one restricted one okay most of the data is pii and here it shows just the number of tables in the system number of columns in the system and uh, this is classified count so let me just open this uh, this is nothing but the total uh, uh, total columns added uh, in the in the class total uh, columns uh, classified basically okay for uh, personal identify information those are 15 1 2 and 1 so total are 19 here okay so it's nothing but this breakdown itself summing up the breakdown uh, here okay so if you go to users okay, here it shows uh, the number of users based on location okay there are uh, i think total 50 unique locations are there okay and the total number of users are 635 and the users grouped by the country okay so this is data classification uh, here we are telling which uh, dictionary entry should be classified in which uh, class okay that's it and now we'll go here uh, let me go to data discovery again okay now this time we have added it in the discovery right so let me go to some incident record Okay. I think we have opened here. Okay, let me uh, add something in the dictionary. Sorry, uh, uh, description. Okay. Description. I'll just copy this. Okay. I'll just add this, and uh, we have one more uh, example there. Right? It should start. It can start with three seven as well. Okay. so this is starting with 3 4 and this is starting with 3 7 okay let's see uh, if it identify if it identifies this or not this or not okay so let me go uh, to data discovery okay let me open uh, the discovery jobs okay so this job has completed its job now let me just click on new and i'll create test discovery job 2 okay uh, and the window uh, let me just see the time now it is 640 let's schedule that for 642 okay 642 and uh, the end time will say 645 okay let's save this and we'll schedule okay 
and if you go to the schedule table uh, you can see uh, there is one more here and the next action is there in one minute okay now here uh, in this in this one uh, the window which is uh, only three minutes window here right so what happens if the data uh, is more okay if the data is more and it is still uh, discovering the data this it is still discovering the pii and, and the end time is reached okay that time what will happen is it will stop here itself the next day it will stop at this time okay and it will complete uh, it on the next day okay so let's see uh, whether this is completed We still have one minute and uh, we'll see the results here. Okay, uh, the job is completed now and it has the data discovery here. You can see uh, earlier it used to find only email and short description, but it, it is finding the disc description now because we have added uh, uh, for this dictionary, we have classified that as PII. Okay, that's why it is identifying this. Okay. Now uh, let's go to uh, the dashboard for data discovery. Okay. If we go to the dashboard here. Now here we can schedule, uh, we can select the job for which job we want to see the data. So we'll see uh, the latest one that is uh, discovery job two. Okay. Here we can see uh, the email for email. We have one record, right? Okay. In this one, uh, we can see for email, we have one record. Okay. And for, uh, Credit card American Express. We have two records: one in, one in description, uh, description, and one is uh, short description. Okay, and now here we can say all these three are new ones. State is new here. Okay, you can see state is new, and uh, we can change that state. Okay, let's see. Uh, and at the bottom we can see the uh, tables. Okay, in the user table uh, we have how many records? Six thirteen records for email. Okay, in task table, uh, let me just remove this. In task table we have two here one for description one for short description okay now let's go here okay in this let me open this okay so we have classified uh, that uh, okay let me just remove this let me open uh, from i okay so here we have classified the description uh, as pii right uh, in the data classification so we already know that it is classified so i'll say it is classified okay and here again we'll go uh, email okay so here also what i'll say uh I'll say this is classified because we have classified that we have added that to data classification okay, okay. And now uh, this short description we have added this also as classified this is also classified because we have added the classification for this but let's say uh, if you have not added that in the classification then uh, i'll say this as ignore okay just for example now if we go to uh, the discovery uh, this um, dashboard here now you can see uh, the changes in this report okay now ignored is one okay, and classified are two okay so here in this way uh, we can identify the pii in the system okay and we can classify them using the data classification application okay i hope you like this content if yes then please hit the thumb icon and uh, add your valuable suggestion in the comment and if you are not subscribed to the channel then please do subscribe thank you